What's up, everybody? It's your favorite third time's a charm. Or is it? It's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the ex trans boss defensive strategist Aegis, I guess. I don't know. What am I? Some sort of linguist? Some language I don't understand, some word I don't understand, for our Masterpiece Trailbreaker offering from X Transbots. As you know, I'm very critical of X Transbots. I feel like they've taken my money one too many times for a subpar product. Will this be the change that everyone has expected it to be? Time will tell. Let's do accessories first. Let's stop what we're doing. First of all, he comes with this satellite dish. I think this has a silver uh, finish on it, which is nice, and then it plugs into those three ports, which are kind of painfully obvious, which is a bit of a bummer, and it does swivel down here at the base. It's also the only, at least as far as I can tell, accessory that integrates into the vehicle mode by plugging it into that port there. Unfortunately, oh, never mind. I was mistaken. When, when I when I did it to, for a test, it, like I, I just figured that it stayed stuck up like that, so to speak. But it doesn't. You can sit it down, and that's fine. And then you can rotate it here, and you can use it appropriately. So that's cool. All works fine. He comes with a campfire set, which is really nice. You know, that thing from that episode. And it has a log, which you can sit characters on. It's just a hollow piece, but it is painted. It's this color plastic, actually. And then the brown is painted on, interestingly enough. Same for this piece, except this is a white. Maybe this is both? I don't know. This looks like it's that beige color, but uh, these are both painted on, it would seem, and then it has all the little cups and teapots and so forth, and then it has this just white piece with some cracks in it. I guess this is supposed to be a stone. Pretty cool little accessory set. He comes with an alternate G1 styled head. Uh, I think it's just plain plastics with the silver painted if this is your thing. It's not my thing, but I think it's kind of tradition that they include it, and as you can see, it goes in on a mushroom cap, so... Uh, you can see a little bit into the articulation there. I won't be swapping this out to show you because this doesn't belong to me, but we'll get to that in a second. He comes with these two pieces, and they're both adapters and both coated with silver, I believe, as is all this stuff. Uh, the reason why I say adapters is because this just simply plugs onto here, and then this plugs into the figure. So what you can do is fold the hand in, close the flap, that reveals this, which you can then use your adapter for and plug that in. And these two pieces are extra accessories for bot mode. Now this one's actually different. So if you pop the hand off of the mushroom cap there, you can slide this on. And the nice thing about this is if you want to go with this look, you can transform it and it will work if you have it angled properly. And then he has this weapons effect piece which is just a translucent piece of plastic and we'll show how that works. And that clips onto here like that. Now let's get into the figure. First and foremost, this is on loan to me from Manny. Uh, shout out to Manny. He's a good dude. He, he sells third-party figures very, you know, on a small scale, uh, but he's always willing to work with you price-wise. He's always willing to help you out. He has very quick shipping. He's a good, solid dude. His email is in the description of this video if you want to contact him to hit him up for one. And he, he knows I wasn't necessarily the biggest x Transbots fan. He knew there was a very small chance that I'd be interested in buying one of these, but he still wanted me to be able to get the reviews out. And I tip my hat to that dude. I'm, I hope one day I can make it up to him, so to speak. With that out of the way, let's do a quick comparison with Hoist, who he also let me hold. Now I'm guessing this review is coming sooner than later. Uh, you know, interestingly enough, I think a... a a fair amount of, of difference, not only in deco, but in uh, uh, aesthetics and silhouette. And I think that works fairly well. I think they did a pretty good job here. And you know, no skull face review is complete unless we throw Tiger Tracks into the mix, and there he is. So I think that all in all, that works well. And as a bonus, surprisingly, he does fit in the back of Optimus's truck. Well done. Now, for the truck mode, and there's been a lot of praises so far, and the praises are going to continue a little bit more, and then i got to dig in a little bit. So it rolls like a champ on rubber tires. It's like a, At least it feels like rubber to me. It's a tough rubber, too, which is nice. Chrome wheels, which I also like. All that stuff is either chrome or silver painted, and it looks great. 
translucent, regular translucent window plastic. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I wish they would have gone with the blue translucent. And these uh, mirrors do adjust here. We'll talk about that a bit later. I wish they would have done the blue translucent. I think that would have been a nicer touch. Cleans up like a champ mac underneath, and that looks pretty good. And then the back is the same deal. Wish it would have gone with the blue. But all in all, pretty effective and works fairly well. Now, like all of true things, one day the love must wither on the vine. Here is the issue. This paint detailings here is atrocious. The paint is all sorts of speckly here. This, all of this should have used a second coat. You got white showing up underneath the yellow here. The yellow is barely there, like a Victoria's Secret's undergarment. You got up here all this stuff. Look how stuttery that is. It's like uh, Michael J. Fox was painting that thing, you know what I mean? And then it comes down here. This is all somewhat of a mess. So this is sort of a wash. All the paint detailings here are sort of a wash, and that's a bummer. And it's on both sides. They mucked it up on both sides. It's it, it is not even the same paint application. Like this silver here, it comes down and then it ends before these four stripes. This one starts underneath, and this would have been great had they put a second coat on there, probably. And then on this side, it goes underneath that yellow stripe all the way to the other side. So it's just it's inconsistent, it's sloppy, and it's careless. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, the turbo four-wheel drive does look good. Uh, on both sides, but the rest of it is just sort of messy. Let's see if this is the same. That's not even pretty either, but that goes underneath on both sides and underneath on both sides. Yeah, it's just not really well done. It's very, very sloppy, and that's a bummer because so far, uh, it's pretty much perfect. Well, with the exception of the blue translucent, but that's definitely more of a subjective thing. So let's transform them. Now the instructions suggest to push down on the top here, which will allow you to open up the back here. But I'm not exactly sure how to do that. I haven't been able to get it to work properly. And that could very well be operator error, but I, I'm sorry. You know, what do you want from me? So this is the same problem that I had with it before. So just bear with me as I try to get it open. Phew. Not the best. Like, I don't even understand how you would push down on it. Like, I, I don't know. And then you got to open up these side pieces. And they go all the way to the top here. And this... You know, a lot of times with the cars, it is like it is a challenge kind of unlocking the puzzle, so to speak. But like you just feel like it's. Good night. It sucks so much. Let's try this side. We're gonna move this out of the way. So there, and then you lift all of this up and then you just separate this. So you can split the legs and bring them down to about here. When you get this, you can separate this. Uh, this is, ends up becoming the foot and you can untab this and wrap it around and it'll tab back in to there. And let's see what else we need to do. And then this piece comes up and around and this allows you to bring the leg down. You gotta bring the toe out And then you got to sort this stuff. So this piece here, I don't know if you can see it. It's, you know, dark plastic. And, but this piece here, you can see a little bit of it, is wrapped up in there. And that has to come out. And it's not easy uh, to get out. But I am going to use a tool and 
try my best. So if you pry that out, that should give you a little bit of space and then you can kind of back it out to there. Sorry, I had to cut. It was too close in and I started moving a little too fast. So I backed it out a little bit. Um, just get this out of the way. You want to fold down on that double hinge here and wrap this tire around and then close this up and then this piece comes around and that's a tight little tolerance there too and just kind of covers down on that and that's one leg so we're going to do another one uh, i know that was a little messy we'll try to do it a little bit more clean we'll get this one out of the way so bring it down to about 90 degrees at that point you can untab this piece here all right, and wrap it all the way around to the other side of the foot and it'll snap into place which is actually it feels pretty nice you can then move the rear panel and you got to kind of move it against like you kind of feel like you're putting tension on this back hinge this is a problem i have with with some of their stuff that you feel like you're breaking it in order to move it rotate this down and then you rotate the foot out no problems there so on the back you want to get this piece out once again i have to use a tool get that out of the way rotate this double hinge down the tire does basically a 180 on a tight little hinge that folds in this covers down that's a tight little hinge too and that covers down and those are the legs all right so we're gonna get the upper body done before we get the arms done and what you have to do is you have to get all this stuff in here unplugged which is easier said than done in some regards that door has to come unplugged from the front wheel well area there and then like i managed to plug it back in and this is all in an attempt to get these arms out so just work with them little debbies and you can rotate down a little bit and get these out of the way as well uh, it's kind of his weapons you can just <clears throat> move them around the waist there there and then you should be able to get the arms way out to the side if everything is unplugged and it's very difficult to show you exactly where everything is because it's all hidden um but it, as you're messing with it, it it's kind of you can feel where the tension is you can feel that it's it's kind of plugged in in multiple places all right so now we need to plug in the waste into this area there and we'll get these pieces actually oh man we should have got the head out but we can still we can still get her make sure that that's open there get the head through and you can spin it around and then these rotate and you can get those out of the way as well in order to get the other piece we'll flip down this uh, which is easily forgotten if you're not paying attention by the way on the backpack we want to fold these pieces out and these pieces in tuck these wheels in once again i can get better footage so i'm cutting this in we can get this port in this port and they need to correspond with two pegs on the insides of those flaps so bring it down i plugged this in already this will sit up in that notch there and then make sure that this armature that the the first part of this arm the arms of this armature are up as far as they can be when you start and then we're just going to try to line it up the best we can. And then we have the arms, which aren't entirely painless either. But push here, compress it, which allows you to rotate this joint down and lock in. You can use the shoulder hinge to get the additional 
kind of reach and then rotate so that you have the elbow oriented properly and then you can bring out this hand and bring that just broke or did it maybe it didn't unbelievable open that up close that up and you're good there I'm gonna take a look at this or maybe it is just in there with tension so it just popped out all right hold here compress down and then rotate around bring the hand out there are little itty bitty hands too and then fold this piece out wrap this piece around and fold that piece down and he's done and we will uh, clean him up and take a look at him the head not a lick of paint blue plastic inside of black plastic a decent enough face sculpt and that's about it there is a hinge for the swivel so that's nice and then the head swivels as well a little bit of down a little bit of up you can adjust this cannon here you can adjust it you know a bit uh, you know I think it's best to have it back like that and then this one you can adjust at this hinge here but you can't really do anything else so it kind of always has to be sort of sitting in that position I don't care for that either all right shoulders we have I guess it's a swivel in there but there's movement there too so it's like a hinge inside of there which gets you a little bit of down and up. And actually, I think that, no, that's fine. So yeah, there's a little bit of give there. And then there's a soft ratchet that gets you 90 degrees there. Also, it's worth noting, uh, I didn't say this in the transformation, pull down the biceps, I forgot it. Oh well. And then a swivel that gets you back and then you can't really if you let's see if I can move this you can't really it's hard to move it around the backpack um, yeah it's it, it's it's just not well done in that regard uh, bicep swivel single hinged elbow they get you just about 90 degrees so that's okay very 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 small hands small hands and they are the uh, really bad ball jointed uh, base knuckle uh, hands that we're kind of used to with hinges at each additional knuckle and they are dainty I've already popped the tip off of the pinky on this one and it took me forever to get it back in and then a wrist swivel same for the other side we do have this silver finish here on the arms which looks great it looks great all the black is just plastic that should have had a finish that would have looked great as well waist swivel that works fine no problems there Hip skirts, you can fold those up to reveal universals that are frictioned out to the side and frictioned front and back. So you should get the full Van Damme and the full Monty. No problems. Thigh swivel, not the best, but I think it's okay. I think it's good enough. Silver finish, a beautiful red paint on those knees it looks great really well done and then we have a double jointed knee it's actually triple jointed really and when you're using all the joints and there's a ratchet there our first real ratchet so far uh, it gets you the full range which is nice and then we have some silver paint here which is fair enough and then we have an ankle no tilt at all we have a bit of a toe hinge and a rocker and that's him uh, let's see side view cleans up really well back view cleans up beautifully really well done from this perspective final thoughts look I know people seem to be happy with this but I gotta give my opinion on it 
I think it's a swing and a miss ultimately, but let me talk about the negatives. The shoulder articulation is obnoxious. It doesn't work the way you want it to. You find yourself struggling to get it in the pose you'd like it to, and that almost goes for the knees and the ankles as well. The head, the hips, and the ankle rockers are almost the only things that work the way you'd really like them to. The paint, the silver paint looks great. The red paint looks even better, but the lack of finish stands out. And then the mess that is these designs on the side doesn't really work quite well either. The engineering is slightly smoother than usual x Transbots products and yet still finds a way to be clunky and obnoxious. The way that the backpack plugs into the double armature, the double armature itself unplugging the side things from the car, let alone the rear window. And there's just enough wrong here to make it an unpleasant experience. I would have rather the windshield's been tinted blue. I would have liked more ratchets, both in the hips and shoulders. I would have liked bigger hands. <laughs> Them little hands, Mac. You know that dude that worked out way too much and you take a look at him and you're like, oh, I know why you're working out. Look at the size of them little hands. That's how this guy feels. Whoa. Pretty, pretty jacked, man. Stay lifting, bro. Give me five. What the? Wait a minute. Can I see your hand again? They're, they're very dainty. Now it continues to do the things right that X Transbots tends to do right and it does improve on a few things. Let's talk about it. The sculpt is still on the money. They're still doing a great job with the sculpt. They did ramp up the paint here. Although it's not as much paint as I would like and although some of the paint is done sloppily, all that silver and the red, that's definitely a step in the right direction. It's moderately priced, the alt mode is beautiful, materials wise the plastic feels good and the hardware where they chose to use it feels good. The ratchets in the knees feel great, I wish I could have had more of those ratchets elsewhere. They're also in the shoulders a bit, and like inside the torso, they should have been here at, at, at this joint but they're inside, like that feels good as well, this outside one not so much. And I have to give it to them, the, lastly, they, it cleans up really well. Like it cleans up well from the side, it cleans up well from the back, like it's a clean looking bot. Uh, it's just, unfortunately it's, it's just, it's just not good enough for me to recommend. It's not hateful, and I, I think that if you're okay with all of the things that I mentioned, and they were plentiful, I think you'll be alright. But I can't give my stamp of approval on this, as much as I'd like to. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, until next time, take care.